Good day, in this tutorial we're going to cover how to get access and download Autodesk products. Now there's two ways of doing this, but the first thing you need to do is you'll need to go to students, you'll need to sign into your account of course, so you need to create a student account, which I have a separate video, so please follow that to create your Autodesk account. The next thing you'll need to do is go to the student section so you'll I've given you a link to access this Autodesk educational part okay so you'll need to get to students you'll need to go and get products go to individual you'll need to renew your access so if your access has expired you'll need to go and renew your access and you'll notice at the top of the page there's a link that you'll follow to do so okay please do so if you get stuck please let me know during the class or come and see me during this assign support, uh, support times okay so typically in second year and third year the software that you're going to need is going to be it's going to be AutoCAD so this is where it does get tricky in order to download the information correctly you'll need to go to site settings you'll need to click on the site settings and you'll need to go to site settings what you need to do is that you'll need to enable pop-ups so you'll find if we browse down you'll need to pop-ups you'll need to allow pop-ups for the site it won't if you don't allow this what will happen is if you try and download large software you won't get all the parts okay so it's important that you allow this once you've allowed this and you go to you go back to the site you'll notice that it'll bring up a setting to reload the page now for example so you've reset your page you're going to go back to AutoCAD now there's two options you can click install this method is fine if your internet connection stable if your internet connection is not stable you'll have to use this arrow down mode and you'll have to use the download now sometimes you'll notice this has two parts so here for example I'm just going to save it on my desktop and I'll cancel the installation because I've already got this if I press save you'll notice it'll download both parts because Auto, AutoCAD and Revit are very large installations so it'll bring it down in two parts now this wouldn't happen if you did not enable the pop-ups enabled pop-ups for the site okay so if you press save you'll notice that both of these are down will be downloading this is very important because if your internet connections not stable this is the preferred method okay so let's just pause that and pause that for now if we go back into uh, the Autodesk product page you can also just use the installation option as well I would do that for smaller applications for very large applications I'd much rather install do the download in this instance now, to all, wherever you download it, you'll need to unpackage that information onto your machine. I'll give you a separate video on how to do that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so I'll explain where that gets unpackaged. All right. So once that's downloaded, go and find. So what? What other software will you need? I wouldn't recommend downloading Revit for now. Just remember, this is quite a large platform and will any use this in third year application? This is a large application. Will any use this in third year? So leave that for now and remember we're only installing the 2024 products for this year. Very important. Don't install any other version other than 2024 because that's what we use in our labs as well. The other application I want you to get access to is, this is different. You're just going to click on Former and you're going to click on Access. It'll give you access to that. We'll discuss that later on. But that's fine it's going to give you access and we want format pro so format pro you're going to download this one as well and you can also use the download function as well or install if you're having issues in, with the install you'll need to download it okay okay so once you've downloaded the parts for the autodesk installation it doesn't matter if you're using revit autocad format i think format will be one package but you'll notice that this comes in two parts so what you need to do is if you double click on a file it will automatically extract the information to a folder location now I'm going to activate this and show you exactly where the information gets extracted to this takes a couple seconds for it to activate 
but this is important um, to understand that you need a lot of space in your machine in order to um, facilitate this unpacking. Okay, so you'll notice on your screen, okay, it's on my other screen sadly, but it will unpackage the information to a location on your hard drive. So once you've double clicked on the file, it will unpack all the information to your C drive. So if you go to this PC, C drive, it creates an Autodesk folder and you'll notice that it'll unpackage all this information to this location. Okay, so here you'll see that you can get the installation. So if you, it will automatically run the setup, but if there's a problem, you can always reinstall the software from here. However, this is quite a large installation location. So if I right click and I click on properties, you'll notice that this is already 2.5 gigs. Okay, so just make sure you've got enough space. If you want to keep this here, it's, this is a good location to keep accessing the stuff. Once you've done that, you can simply delete um, all that information. Now remember, once it's in your recycle bin, to delete it permanently as well. So empty your recycling bin. 